Hey there, my fuzzy wuzzies. How you doing? So normally we've been playing a lot of these, these like, uh, speed battles and club arena type stuff. Let's just play some regular games in here, man. Play some Ceramic Crucible, though, so they're going to be some fairly intense games. But now we don't have to worry about that. About about speed battles where I'm really just so freaking intense all the time, or getting random trios where you get a glue gunner and a sniper and a super monkey, and you're like, suck my balls, game. Suck my ball. That happened to me, I know. Literally the worst towers ever. Also, I've been having this thing. I, I, I assume that it's probably because because there's a new update, but I'm on the lookout for a really long time. Where it usually says, Rang is returning, and then nothing happens. I'm like, come on, man, come on. But here we go, we got... We got Bob Button today, <laughs> Bob Button one, but he's got 33 battle score and 7,000. I don't really understand what's going on over there. I don't think you can reset your battle score. You can only reset your medallions. At least I thought that's how it worked. But that being the case, this is going to be kind of weird, especially for the Sram Crucible. I hope he's not a hacker. We're going to go uh, Dart Monkey Ninja. We'll go Banana Farm. What do we get as our fourth tower? We get a Monkey Village. We'll skip that bad boy, and we get the submarine. Actually, that was exactly what I wanted. It's perfect, man. Dart Monkey Submarine. Awesome combo. But now the Nuclear Submarine isn't quite as good, so you have to just be a little bit careful at relying on that guy for, like, full Rooker Rainbow Popping Power and stuff. So, let's do a... Oh, I didn't know that. They, they popped this thing out uh, as well, so that's kind of cool. Let's do a Banana Farm start. This is going to do a ninja start, so fairly interesting. Usually whenever I see ninjas, I think, oh, we got this game in the bag, man. We got this game in the bag. We're also going to do a dart monkey. With more nanners. And we're going to pop, pop a set of road spikes in there. Just pop, just pop, pop a squat. Pop a squat of road spikes. And we got red sharp shots, razor sharp shots, sharpity derpity darp shots. And we're going to get the triple sharp shots. Triple darts. And we're going to rush with some red pins. Because this guy is... I don't understand. I really honestly believe that he might be a really big noob. I can't tell if he's playing me like a fiddle or what, what the deal is. <laughs> I'm being honest here. So anyways, he's keeping me from farming by doing that, but I, I, I don't know. Can, can we do any damage? I don't know. We definitely see a lot of stuff going on. So he's going to rush me with some blue balloons. Space blues. Alright, he is losing lives. This is just this is a very odd game so far. And I think we're going to go with a bunch of blues in just a second here, guys. Just a billion blues. So anyways, you got a balloon chipper and a cannon over there now. What? What? I guess it's a fairly good combo, to be honest. But why would you get those together? Like, I would go for a third tier cannon. Oh, we got multiple balloon chippers. This is one of the weirdest games I've ever played. But it's surprisingly working pretty well for him. So <laughs> I'll give him cred. I'll give him cred what credit is due. And I need to continue on with my farms, because these blue balloons aren't going to do crap against him with his really weird defense over there. And if you're wondering, can he like def can he actually afford all of those things? Surprisingly, yeah. I mean, if you really think about it, I have two farms over here, which each cost about $1,000. Uh, about almost $1,500, actually. And I have a $700 dart monkey, so... Uh, I'm going to put my ninja... Yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, let's put it over there. And we'll get our last little butt, last little farm over here. And I'm feeling good. He's still rushing me with pinks. It's actually going to cause me a little bit of issues. But I don't really care. I don't really care, man. We'll get a Seeking Shuriken. I'll get a 2-1 get Ninja really quick. Sharp Shuriken. He's always going to rush me with blacks now, too. Surprisingly, blacks are easier to defend than uh, pinks when you have Dart Monkeys. Which is kind of awesome. I know. It's kind of weird. But it works pretty well. Because the Dart Monkeys can just chug through those double pinks. And they usually go through the black and the pink layer, leaving just a yellow layer. Which, who cares about yellow, man? Pinks are usually the deadly ones. And we have our fourth farm already. Alright. So now we need to start defending more things, though. We, we have a pretty bad... Let's just use... See, I don't feel like losing all of my lives over here. And we got the double shot. So now let's do let's do that submarine. I'm still feeling like we can get a nuclear submarine that'll be our lead popping power. Uh, I really don't have that great of a lead popping power tower. I either have to get a really expensive 2-3 ninja, a kind of expensive juggernaut, which doesn't have that many great spot on, on spots on this map, or I can go all the way up to a nuclear submarine, which is probably the most boss thing you can get. So anyways, he... What? What? Requel Whites, man? What you doing over there, buddy? It's not going to do anything to me. I hope. <laughs> um, I hope. He's going kind of hardcore, though, with these Requel Whites. He just doesn't want to give up. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. We're almost... Oh, he's 2,800 now. I keep thinking he's 2,500. He's not. He's 2,800. So maybe he'll rush me with those Requel Whites. Again, he doesn't really have that weak of a defense, but his camo popping power is pretty bad. So here we go, we got the reactor. He's submerged. 
We're pretty much set for a little while. Check out that range action as well. Let's do some camo pop. We're going to do some camos against him. I'll start off with camo lead, and then I'll just do a bunch of camo zebras or something like that. Let's get ready for it. Let's do cam. Let's do a cam grow, and then a couple cam grow blacks. And then I don't think this is going to go late game, so I'm actually going to sell two of my farms and just get a fourth tier ninja just, just in case. I don't know, just in case counter rushes me, because that's pretty much the only way we're going to lose. Check out those camel leads, man. He's got no camel lead popping power. The camel leads are going to be so darn deadly. What is he going to do against those things? He's going to do nothing. Oh, he's got nothing for him. He's not going to go for a 2-3 ninja either. Go for another camel lead. And I think he already uses battle energy. So let's just say screw you and go for an even bigger camel rush on top of that. A few camo zebras. And those are going to multiply into a billion blinks. And we are going to take this little buddy down. I'm sorry, little Bobby Button. Your button was just not big enough. It did not hold your uh, pants together, and they fell down. And everybody saw your wiener, and everybody was making fun of you. And that's how you named, got your name, Bobby Button. But that's okay. So anyways, we stole off some aliens. He's 3-3. Three and three. I don't want to rematch that guy. That was a really weird and kind of stupid game, honestly. Especially for a regular Ceramic Cruise, but that's not what's supposed to happen. No. No, it's not supposed to, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a lot more intense, and I'm supposed to like have dart monkeys coming at me, and like ninjas, and, and, and cool stuff. And submarines. Yeah. I feel like it'd be, you know what, I feel like the nuclear submarine should be different. Like, it shouldn't actually be, like, how it is. Sometimes this guy, holy crap, dude, he's 29 and 3. Oh my goodness, this guy's got a crazy record. I don't want to play this map, though. I'm not a Hydro Dam fan. Oh, no. This map, I can do. Um, it's definitely weird, but we can do Dart Monkeys. Dart Monkeys are really good on this map. And then I'm also, I'm actually going to go Boomerang and Banana Farm. Gonna re-roll that sniper and we <laughs> What's with the super monkeys? Why do I always get super I guess magically if we go to round 50, I guess the super monkeys will help us out, but other than that, it's pretty much worthless. Alright, so I'm gonna get greedy here. I'm gonna do a banana farm start. Go banana farm. We're gonna go road spike right here. And he's gonna do the exact same thing as us. Alright. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a few reds, cause him some issues over here. I'll do another set of road spikes as well, just to, just to be safe. And we get the more nanners, and we're going to do a couple sets of these reds. Just to cause him some issues, you know, maybe he'll have to do something about that. I'm just going to try and chill with my... Oh, he's going to rush me back. Alright, I'll get at least razor sharp shots as well. I guess we'll get the triple. You know, maybe I, I don't know. Should I get triples? Or should I just use my last set of road spikes down here? I guess that's, that's fine. It's fine and dandy by me. We'll get our second farm, hopefully slightly quicker than him. 53 and 54. Oh, we missed it by $3! Alright, there's the banana. Alright, I was I was so upset right there. So upset. We have to wait an extra six seconds. Alright, so what's going on now? I gotta get the triple darts, dude. And we're gonna rush with a few pinks. Okay, get triple darts and rush with pinks. All at the same time. It doesn't really work that way. But we used all of our road spikes up. And pink, 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 pink. Sometimes you can cause issues with the pinks. He's gonna he's gonna rush me with the pinks as well. This is gonna be a fairly interesting game right here. We're gonna get a second dart monkey over here. I don't think I'm going to battle energy yet, though. We're not losing enough lives to make it worthwhile. So I, I got a zero one Dart Monkey and a zero three. Makes me feel good. I feel kind of sexy right now in my little dress down here. And we get our third banana farm. Maybe just maybe we can fit our, our fourth banana farm in here. I'm not sure. But he's got... I don't know. He's building his banana farms all the way in the bottom there. So I guess that's just what he likes to do. So we're finally starting to lose some lives. We need to get a second and triple darts. All right, it's actually the natural balloons that are killing us, though. It's not the scent balloons, believe it or not. But it's okay. I am going to rush with a few blacks and a few pinks just to cause him some issues again, just causing him some problems. Hopefully, that's the plan. He gets his second third tier dart monkey up, keeping him from farming. And he's going to rush us with blacks as well, and I can sadly not fit my fourth farm in here. Nah, nah, snarf, snarf. Alright, so now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get a dart monkey right here. And I'm gonna get him up to 03 as well. But I don't think I'm gonna do any sort of crazy yellow rushes or anything like that. I'm just I'm gonna play a little bit more of a chill match, because I know that the inside of that triangle, it just has so much room to attack. You have to rely on the natural balloon slowly killing the person to make him like actually die. Which is kind of funny that the natural balloons kill people so easily. Alright, so he doesn't have any really good dart monkey spots, which I guess is good for us. But again, with his really solid record, 29-3, we're kind of expecting a good player over here. 
All right, let's start getting our uh, Glaive Lord set up. But how do I want to do this? I'm thinking we're going to put it right here. Look at this guy going, and then... Uh, just gotta be a little careful. We got the red hot ring, so we got the lead popping power. He probably doesn't have any lead popping power, so we're gonna do a regrow lead, and then um, I'm just gonna save up for my uh, glaive lord. He's he's fairly expensive, so I, I gotta be careful here. Especially with the bananas flying all over the freaking place, man. I got so many banana farms, dude. There we go. We got this guy up. So here he's still having some problems with the leads, dude. Oh, he gets the juggernaut up, but is it gonna be in time? It looks like it probably will be, but barely. He lost a few leads over there. All right, all right. I see how it is, man. I see how it is. I can't decide if I want to do it or not. Uh, uh. Natural balloons aren't going to kill me. It's only the scent balloons. So let's see. Is he going to rush me? I'll get the Glaive Lord really quickly and hopefully annihilate all of these things. We're almost there, guys. We almost got it. He's going to rush us. Glaive Lord. Glaive Lord. Glaive Lord. Battle energy. Battle energy. Woo! Yeah, yeah. We got the Glaive Lord, but we had to use the battle energy. I thought I had enough money for it, and I didn't, and I freaked out a little bit, guys. But he wasted a big chunk of his money right there. He didn't realize the overpoweredness of the Glaive Lord. Talk about a sexy play right there. Now the Natural Balloons, we're going to have a little bit more issues getting through our defense. And the Glaive Lord is freaking boss, so I'm really not worried about them uh, pretty much at all. How is his defense looking? I don't know. Does he have cam detection? Let's see. Let's check it out. We're going to send out one cam pink, and it do does have at least one of those guys up to cam detection. So I'm thinking I'm not going to rush him. Sometimes you can get people uh, uh, killed with a random camera detection, or a camo rush, when they just have a juggernaut, because that's the only camera detection that they have, and it regrows into a crazy amount of regrows, and they usually die, even if it's battle energy. So we just use battle energy against that thing? It's kind of a weird thing. Kind of weird, I suppose. But we're going to get a couple more dart monkeys, I believe. A couple more of these bad boys. I feel like I'm clicking all over the place today. Oh my god, the bananas are everywhere, dude. So there we go, we're going to get one there, I'm going to get a boomerang over here, just in case these scent balloons are ridiculous. He's got a pretty bad defense still, but I don't think I want to rush him. Even though I have an extreme farm advantage, I have, I have, I have double the amount of farms. It was all because that one camo rush that I defended. <laughs> Tricky Chris, so he's going to go for it, but I, I think I can defend it without even using uh, my battle energy. Yeah, we can. We can fed it without even having to use the battle energy. Sweet titties, man. Sweet titties. All right. Woo! So now we're feeling really sexy right here. And I'm thinking, man, fourth tier farms are looking good. Oh, yeah. If we can get a fourth tier banana farm, oh, we got this game, dude. We got this game. We got to at least get a third tier banana farm first. And then uh, think about what kind of rushes could come out against us still. Because fast cooldown buffs could still be pretty darn deadly. Got to admit, even with our boomerangs and everything, they can be hard to defeat. So here we go. We got, what is this? It's going to cost $15,000, so we need at least five thousand. No, we need at least $7,000 before we can even sell this guy, uh, sell all my farms to get that guy going. So that's going to be really rough to get, unless I wanted to go absolutely crazy and sell a Glaive Lord to buy my fourth tier banana farm. Now that would be a really sexy play, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I have, I don't think I have it in my, my balls right there, man have big enough cojones for that. Or do I? Or do I? No, not on round 22, dude. Round 22 is too dangerous for us. So we're going to go with a few more dart monkeys in here. I'll go with another boomerang over there, just in case I want to get him up to a glaive lord as well. Oh, he is going to go for the rush. All right. I see how it is. We're going to super monkey fan club this right away. As soon as it's in range, we're going to go uh, super monkey fan club. I don't think I have to use the battle energy. But I do want to get a second Glaive Lord if I can. Second Glaive Lord, and that's going to own all the blues. So we easily defended that guy, and we still have banana farms left over. Now he's going to lose to the natural blues. Whoa, whoa! Go, oh my goodness, Ninja Kiwi. Oh man, he had a hard time right there. We're going to go for a counter BFB rush. Counter BFB, and we're going to see what he does against this guy. Now he's got a lot of banana farms still, and now uh, I have to rebuy my banana farm though. Kind of sad, but my defense is awesome sauce. I got to admit that. So he's gonna have to sell his farm to go for Super Monkey Fan Club right back at him, and now he has no eco either. So oh, he's gonna go for Super Monkey Fan Club, and he looks like he probably will defend it fairly easily, especially with that double juggernaut action over there. Oh snap, dude! He defended that thing like a boss. 
and now I don't know what to do. This is this is a really, really even game now. I feel like my defense is better. But against natural balloons, I don't know. I don't know if we can take down the natural balloons quite as well as I want to. Alright, so it's pretty much gonna be who dies to the natural balloons, I think. And it looks like we will survive, and he might not survive! Oh, he's down to 57 lives! Alright, so we're just going to defend against the natural blooms. That is the plan here, guys. We're going to sell all the farms and, and defend against the naturals. Yep, just do it. Just do it. He's going to Super Monkey Fan Club that crap. <laughs> I think I'm going to BFB him right now. Oh, man. We Super Monkey Fan Club right back at him. And we'll send out the BFB. And that's all we got. That's all we can do. Uh, we pretty much can't do anything else. I don't even remember which one was the Super Monkey Fan Club one. So, yeah. Oh, right. There he is. Sell that bad boy, and I'll rebuy this bad boy. And let's see. What does he get? Oh, he, he did afford the Super Monkey Fan Club. Oh, man. This is this game is just crazy. He's still got some some random money coming in, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could be bad for both of us. We're going to battle energy it right on back. Use our Super Monkey Fan Club. And he will survive still. There's Regal Rainbows coming out. He's used that. Oh, we take him down. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> we knew that the natural balloons were going to kill him, and we just had to outplay him and outlast him. That was the plan. Screw those little baby farms right there. Nobody cares about those things. And we got over 100,000 medallions. I think that's the first time we've ever had over 100,000 medallions. This is exciting. This is exciting. But nonetheless, that's all I'm going to have you guys today. So if you enjoyed this video... Pwitty please, pwitty please, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you doing? Press that button as well, and have a super duper delicious day.